Good morning, students. What do you think our lesson of today will be about? Just look at the picture in front of you and try to guess. Yes, you are right. Our le lesson of today will be about coral reefs. What do you know about coral reefs? First of all, let me start with this question so that you get familiar with the topic. How can tourists help protect the coral reefs? Think of the question. Okay, right now, let's start with this activity. Look at the reading strategy box and discuss the question. Right now, let's read together the reading strategy, the headings, the subheadings, and the pictures in an article can help you predict what it's going to be about. Try to think of this strategy. So, right now, read the article once and try to check your answers of what do you know about coral reefs and try to check your skill. Now, let's go to activity number two on page 157. Read the article again and write a short heading for each piece of advice. You will be given five minutes to read this article and try to think of a suitable heading, a short heading for each paragraph.
Okay, students. Try right now to check your answers. After reading, it beats of advice. What do you think a short heading could be suitable for each one? Number one. Yes, choose your accommodation carefully. Number two, what do you think? Choose a responsible diving trip. Number three, yes, be responsible visitor. Yes. Check your answers, please. Okay, bravo right now. Were your answers correct? Okay, good. Let's continue to another activity. Right now, everyone, we are going to decide whether the following statements are true or false. Let's first of all go over these statements. After that, you will be given time to check your answers. According to the article, are the statements true or false? One, coral reefs don't occupy much of the ocean floor, but they have a very big value. There is no need to worry about protecting coral reefs. Some tourist accommodation is bad for coral reefs. Tour boats shouldn't stop close to coral reefs. It's okay to touch coral reefs as long as you are gentle. What do you think? Right now, have two minutes to read the article quickly and write true or false. Start, please. Okay, let's check our answers. 
Number one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Check your answer, please. Okay, who got all the statements true? Yes. Bravo. Let's move to our workbook on page 133. Let me introduce this activity. Look at the words in the box taken from the article. What do they mean? Match them with their definitions. Read these words. Now we are going to match the words with the meanings. Try first to start with the words that you are familiar with. You will be given just three minutes to do this activity. Okay, let's start. Number one, it's an adjective. This is a hint. Number one is an adjective. Number two, it's also adjective. Number three is a noun. This is, will be good hint. Now let me start with the first one. What, what do we say that respects the environment? Yes, you are right. Bravo. So, number one, environmentally friendly. Number two, what does that mean? With many different things. Varied, yes. Number three, problems or injuries. Good, it's damage. Something you have to or should do. Good, responsibility. Something that is bad. Yes. Harmful. The last one. 
something related to the sea or it is related to the sea so we say marine check your answers please were you correct good Now, activity number two. Complete these first and second conditional sentences with your own ideas. So here, you have to complete these sentences with your own ideas. These sentences are of first and second conditional sentences. Let's start. Please have your time to write your own sentences. Complete the sentences with the way that you like. Okay, but they should be correct. Start, please. Just you will be given five minutes. Okay, students, have you finished? Okay, good. Now, let's together have some of the ideas that could be suitable to complete these sentences.
So number one, try to complete it with the following statement. These are some of the possible answers. Okay, everyone, right now let's move to the next page so that in this activity you could use your dictionary. Okay? You can use a dictionary to help you. What do we have here in this activity? Complete the word building table with words related to marine conservation and coral reefs. Use a dictionary to help you. Yes, now here we are going to complete with the missing form. It could be noun, verb, or adjective. Okay, now notice with me the first word, which is form. The verb is form, the noun is formation, but it has what? No adjective form. Please, everyone, you can use a dictionary to find the answer. Start, please. You will be given two minutes to complete it. Start. Okay, right now, let's try to check our answers. Number two, protected, yes. Number three, survival. Number four, conservation. Number five, attract. Number six, attractive. Number seven, the verb is harm. Number 
eight, the last one, the verb of damage is also damage. Check your answers. Did you get all of them correct? Good. Now the last activity, please have it as a homework. Write a short text about coral reefs, summarizing information from lessons 11 and 12. Make notes of the important facts you would like to include in your summary. Then draft the text. Thank you. See you next time.